Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about the new shade range that IT Cosmetics has introduced to their Your Skin But Better CC cream. Um, so when they came out with their matte formula of the CC cream, they had like so many more shades and they finally brought them to the original formula. I was very excited about that because some of you may remember, I kind of just stopped using this because the shade range is just doesn't work out for me. <laughs> I love the formula, but finding a shade that looks nice on my skin, it's not very easy. If you want some reference for my other foundation shades while I'm at my most pale, the NARS Natural Radiant I am L2 and MAC NW13. Those shades are about the closest to my skin tone right now. So this product is 49 Canadian dollars and 38 US dollars, and you get 1.08 ounces or 32 milliliters of product, which is a bit more than the average foundation. Um, usually they have one ounce or 30 mils of product. So originally they had seven shades, which is poor. Now some people may argue that since this is a CC cream, they can kind of get away with having, you know, like less shades to choose from, but I disagree. Like, yes, this is a CC cream, but it still acts very much like a foundation. It is just, it's very noticeable if you use a shade that just doesn't work for you. It doesn't magically just blend away into the perfect shade. You can tell. So at first they had fair, light, medium, medium tan, tan, rich and deep. So they've now introduced five new shades, making a total of 12, which is still not that great. But it is a step in the right direction, I suppose. So they've added fair light, light medium, neutral medium, neutral tan, and rich honey. So yes, it's great that they have added five shades, but they haven't made the shade range any deeper than it was before or any lighter than before. They just added a bunch more like middle shades. So it didn't necessarily make it branch out in either direction, which I'm hoping will change eventually. So the first shade I ever tried from this product was the shade Light and it was a great match in the middle of summer when I was at my very, very most tan, which is like one, maybe two months of the year. The next shade I tried is Fair, which is closer to my winter shade. Like the lightness is kind of there, but the undertone, it looks very gray on me and just not flattering. I've mentioned this before, but I just didn't love the way that it looked in that shade on my skin, even though the formula is great. I remember thinking I would never buy the shade Fair again because it just looked that weird. I didn't like it. Now Fair is a closer match to my actual shade like my face is, but my face is lighter than the rest of my body as most people are like that. I didn't like how pale it made me look. Kind of make me look gray and pale and dead, but I didn't like it. So you can imagine how excited I was seeing that they introduced this fair light shade. I figured it would be like a nice happy medium in between. It's still too dark for me to wear on my own. Like it doesn't look crazy on me, but if you see this next to my chest, you're like, oh, okay, that's a little too dark for you there. I just find with the shade Fair Light, the undertone is pretty off. Like this shade out of all three that I'll show you is like the closest match to the rest of my body. Not necessarily my face, but like to the rest of my body. It's a pretty good match, but which is, it just looks off because of the undertone. Like it's very orangey, very pinky. And I do have a pink undertone, but this one is pretty intense. Can kind of pull the shade off if I do a very, very thin layer and bring it down my neck and kind of up to my ears. And if I build it up at all, if I want to get more coverage, it just looks so off because it's very orange and looks really pink on me. And I do pink undertones, so it's very strong pink undertones. <laughs> this looks a little bit off. So if I do wanna build up the coverage, I have to add like a drop or two of a lighter foundation and then it kind of looks balanced. Like today I'm wearing it, but I did mix in some of the shade Fair. Honestly, if they could do that, if they could do 50% this one and then 50% the shade Fair, the lighter shade, just mix that together. That would be like my perfect shade. So I just need kind of one more step in between these shades, which I'm sure is the case for a lot of people between all the different shades that they have. It could be broken down much more. Because while yes, this is technically a CC cream, it performs very similar 
to a foundation. Hopefully that is coming. I mean, everyone's always so amazed when these foundations are released and there's like 40 shades and everyone's so like, wow, that's awesome that they did that. But it's like, it should, it should just be that way. I don't have the other two shades with me. I've used them both up a while ago, but I did get samples from Sephora of the shade Fair and the shade Light so I could show you them all kind of side by side. So I'm going to swatch the shade Fair and then Fair Light and then light so you can see them all side by side. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take off kind of my makeup here and then I'll swatch them on my face so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm just not gonna look at the camera so you can see what I'm talking about here. So this is the shade Fair and I guess it just has the opposite undertone that I do. Like it's pretty yellow so then it makes it look kind of just grayish on my skin tone and it's not that great. And it is somewhat close to my face color, but when I put it all over my face, it doesn't match the rest of my body and it looks kind of funny. This is the new shade here. This is Fair Light and definitely a very intense pink tone, but I don't know if you can tell, but like this shade when it's evenly distributed and then just a kind of a thin layer, it does look okay it's not the best but it's okay and then looking at this shade here this is the shade light honestly it's crazy to think that i could ever even pull that off but when i'm at my most tan for like one or two months out of the year i can so i can't quite pull this off while i'm at my most pale but uh if i just break out my jergens tanning lotion it'll be totally fine so it's not the end of the world but still not quite I was hoping it would be um yeah it would be great if they added more shades especially darker shades and lighter shades because there's definitely people that are more pale than me that probably just can't wear any of these and that goes for the deeper skin tones as well i know the deepest one is not it's not that deep yeah just a nice short sweet video showcasing one out of five of the new shades that they've added to this line still would like to see more shades in the future though i also wanted to take this opportunity to announce that i will be doing a giveaway for the holidays i've never done a giveaway before so i just wanted to take this time and give back to everyone who has supported me so I don't have the actual giveaway prize yet and I don't have it set up or anything. Um, that'll probably be announced in my next video, but I just wanted to ask what types of things you would like to see in the giveaway, any specific products, any just types of products, um, even not beauty related. Let me know in the comments down below and like other people's comments that you agree with. That way I can kind of get an idea of what I should be including. I have a couple ideas, um, but I just wanna know from you guys what you would like to see. So stay tuned for that. My next video will probably include like how to enter what the actual prize is. Um, but for now, just let me know what you would like to see. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.